Mars has two moons, but they are too small to stabilize its tilt. As a result, the red planet rolls much more than Earth. Some scientists believe that this is one of the reasons that there is no life there now. When you look at our moon today, the first things you notice are the craters. They tell astrophysicists, such as David Kring, about a distant and violent past. You can look up from your own backyard and see impact craters on the lunar surface. There are over 300,000 craters, half a mile to over 500 miles in diameter on the lunar surface. Most of these craters come from meteorites hitting the moon. The largest crater you can see from our planet is the Imbrium Basin. It is 700 miles across. Moon craters come in various sizes, but almost all were created at around the same time. Around four billion years ago, a chance alignment of the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn changes the shape of their orbits. This creates a slingshot effect, hurling asteroids toward the inner solar system, straight at Earth and the young moon. For millions of years, asteroids bombard the entire inner solar system. Some of these impact events would have produced impact craters the size of continents or larger. These type of impact events have the capacity to obliterate any oceans on the surface of the planet and superheat the atmospheres. Life as we know it could not persist on the surface of the Earth. This period of intense bombardment is called the lunar cataclysm. The Earth's gravity makes it worse, pulling meteorites and asteroids directly toward itself. On its own, the tiny moon might have escaped with less damage, but it's too close to Earth. Asteroids heading for impact with Earth hit the moon instead. The moon becomes the first victim of collateral damage. Most of the craters on the moon form during the lunar cataclysm. 80% of the lunar surface is destroyed. Molten basalt oozes from fissures and fills impact craters, creating seas of lava. Over millions of years, these will cool, solidify, and turn into maria, or seas, such as the Sea of Tranquility. It is the pattern of dark basalt rock that creates the face of the man in the moon as we know it today.